guys, Robin here with Matt Man and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Obviously, we're in my car today because we're doing something a little bit different. Typically, I like to collect items all year long by shopping clearance, after holiday sales, buying in bulk from Amazon or Oriental Trading, and even receiving contributions from you guys from my Amazon wish list. But that's not how a lot of shoebox packers pack boxes. So today I wanted to go to some big box stores that I know that are available nationwide and see how I would pack a box if I was packing it right now. Today is, I believe, October 6th when I'm shooting this. It's the first week in October, and collection week is the third week in no November. <laughs> so a lot of you guys are going to be collecting items for one or two boxes in the next few weeks, and I just wanted to go in and see what's available, what I would get, how much I would spend, and what the shoebox would look like at the end of the day, and then pack it. So what I have done, oh gosh, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> I've lost it but I printed out my list and there are lots of lists you can get online um, Operation Christmas Child has suggested items several shoebox packers have specific lists but I have some um, linked below in my printables on a Google Drive if you want to use that I printed it out I highlighted some items key items to be looking for and what store I think might have it for the best price and I'm gonna go into these stores and try to find these items so come along with me let's see what we can find <laughs> days I'm back home but I had so much fun shopping with you guys I'm gonna give you a little bit of statistics and then I'm gonna show you what I actually got so I went to five different stores as you saw in that clip and I spent about four and a half hours so it does take some time um, overall I spent sixty two dollars and sixty six cents so about sixty three dollars to get everything that I felt was needed to make this box whole. I haven't tried to pack it yet, so I don't know if it all fits. I don't know if I got too much or if there's gonna be extra space to pack more items. And I did have to cheat on one item. I'll show you and I'll point that out um, as I get to it. So let me show you what all I got and what all I spent and where I got everything at. I will say that as a whole, Five Below seemed to be the best place to go to get a wow item. I had already bought my wow item, but there were so many options at Five Below. If you're just doing one or two boxes, or even one of each age and gender, I think Five Below is the best place to go to get um, the wow items. They had stuff for boys and girls and all ages. So. That's what I gleaned from going to all five of these with the mindset of filling a single box. So let's get started. My first stop, as you saw, was Walmart. So here is my Walmart bag. I think it's the fullest. I'm gonna set it here and I'm gonna show you everything I got and how much I spent. The first thing I got there was this cup. It was actually on clearance, but it was not in the clearance aisle. It was in this regular cup section and I just happened to see a yellow sticker on a box. So I bet on it and it was um, regularly 50 cents. I got it for a quarter, so it was half off, but every quarter counts. You'll see why when we go to Old Navy. And then um, I have a, a bag over here where I'm gonna put everything. Um, then I got this spiral notebook. It's so cute. I love it. I got it for 
75 cents. Now you can find composition notebooks for cheaper, but my Walmart was all sold out. So this was the cheapest I could find, but my pro tip would be to find a composition notebook. They're normally like 50 or 60 cents in the regular school supply aisle. They were all sold out, so I went with this guy. And now it is a big fat spiral, so I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering to get it all to fit in there. Um, next, I got my stuffy at Walmart. There were a lot of places to get stuffies. There were stuffies on the girl aisle. There were stuffies on the toddler aisle. Um, they have new hair amazing ponies for like five dollars. Stuffed ponies for five dollars. Um, they had the little My Life dolls, which is like Walmart's version of American Girl dolls. They had stuffies for those dolls, which are about this size, and they were under five dollars. Um, there were some Spark dolls under five dollars, but this was my choice, the one that I got, and I paid three dollars and 97 cents for her all I'm gonna do is cut off these tags and then she is a regular stuffy so this was the best deal I could find on a brand new stuffy that fit in a box <coughs> hang on I'm already having issues over here okay that'll do next we got our wow item this Barbie I, I guess I don't pay attention this is the first time I've seen a Barbie with an outfit clothes on that was in that $5 range at Walmart. Usually they're the swimsuit Barbies. Um, I guess I just haven't been paying attention, but I thought her dress was so cute with butterflies, so I sort of focused on butterflies. This box doesn't have a theme, but because the wow item was butterflies, I got some of those. She is a pointy-toed Barbie. Um, that's important to look at if you're going to be buying accessories because there are flat-footed Barbies and pointy-toe Barbies. So, this was my wow item, and she was $5.97, so $6 for my wow item. Um, then I went to the Hot Wheels section, and I found these two great Hot Wheels, a fun purple one with a pink underbelly and a pink Roadster with teal tires. I think they're perfect for girls. These were eight at Walmart. Oh, here's my cheat item. So I did pick up this pencil pouch. Let me take these pencils out and I will show you. I picked up this pencil pouch at Walmart. It's pin and gear. It was 99 cents. Um, I was sad that it was black, but I picked it up anyways. And I saw, a you probably saw the clip, um, of pencils that they had there for 99 cents, but I thought I'm not gonna find another pencil pack and I'll find cuter pencils at Dollar Tree. Neither of those things happened. So what happened was at Five Below, and I'll show you when I get there, I found a much cuter pencil bag for also a dollar. So what I did to make the price be even is I went ahead and bought that second pencil bag and I'm counting the dollar that I spent on this pencil pouch as pencils and then I just pulled these from my stash so um, my recommendation is when you see the pencils for a dollar just buy them because you know it doesn't it's not gonna get any better and it seems like school supplies are a little wiped out right now so this is my one cheat I still paid the same but I would have regularly picked up the pencils and not the black pencil pouch. So there you go, <laughs> just so you know. Next, I went over to the coloring book section and they are only 98 cents at Walmart if you look. Um, some of them are up to four and seven dollars, but you do have to look and this one was 98 cents and it it's a little young for a five to nine box but I still liked the images. I like the outside is bright and colorful. And then there are some pages like this one that are very detailed. So I think this is a good coloring book for all ages. Um, next, I, let's do um, school supplies. I did go down the regular school supply aisle. And like I said, things were picked over, 
but there were a few things left that were still on um, back to school prices. It's October, so if you can find those, pick them up. This pencil sharpener was, I believe, um, yep, 62 cents, and it's really cute. And there's gonna be space in there where I can hide some things for packing to, so that I don't lose this much space. Um, let's see here. Next were these big erasers, and these were also 62 cents. And then I found these cute erasers and they were 75 cents. So I know that's a lot of erasers, but these are so fun. And honestly, these popsicles, she can play with her Barbie and this donut and this drink. So I thought this was a good purchase to be accessories for Barbie and erasers. Um, these scissors, throughout the day I did find scissors that were more affordable. These were, I believe, $1.47. However, you get two. Now I know the point of this was to focus on buying for one box, but if you're buying for two boxes, this is definitely the best price because they, they come out being less than 75 cents a piece. But there were other places where I found scissors for a dollar. Um, I found them at Hobby Lobby for a dollar and I found them at Five Below for a dollar. But if you're getting two, this is a better deal. Also, I found crayons and colored pencils. So here you go. This is definitely my choice for colors all year long. Um, I paid regular price for these. Let me see here. Crayons, where are they? Book. All right, here we go. 24 set of crayons, 86 cents. So this is better than getting anything at Dollar Tree and it's a much better quality and you're getting 24. So what I normally do is I break them up and I put eight crayons in each box. If I can fit this whole box in the in her box that I'm making today, I will. But if not, <clears throat> I'll just break this up and add them to other boxes. Same thing with the colored pencils. I don't actually think that they have these year round. And when I scanned it with my phone, it, it said 50 cents. So I thought I was going to be getting these for 50 cents. However, when I went up to the register and rang them up, they were 98 cents which is exactly the same cost as the Crazy Art colored pencils, and that's their regular year-round cost. So I didn't save any money, and they don't always have these, so my recommendation would be to look for the Crazy Art colored pencils. Again, I break these up, I put six in each box. So this would be good for two boxes, and this would be good for three boxes if you're just doing a few. Or if not, you can put this whole thing in each box. So. And then the last place I went at Walmart was the cosmetics section uh, where they have like the shampoo and the deodorant and the makeup, all of that area, um, hygiene area, I guess. And I picked up these. These are my favorite toothbrushes to get because they come with the cap and I like to get them in the two pack. They're in the travel section. This was 98 cents and you get two toothbrushes and two caps. So this would be great for two boxes. And I got this comb for a dollar and six cents, which is better quality, look at that bend test, better quality than all of the items at Dollar Tree. So let me bag this stuff up really quick again after I got it all out. And we will move on to Dollar Tree was the next store that I went to. <clears throat> now, I will say that um, Walmart prices for a lot of things are better than Dollar Tree. But there are some things that um, I pick up at Dollar Tree um, if it's a good quality. So I ended up spending $24.90 at Dollar Tree. I know it's so much. And I only got like 17 items only but my point is that sometimes walmart is a better deal than dollar tree so don't go to dollar tree thinking that this is the best place for the best price because it just isn't anymore now that they've gone up to a dollar 25 tree all right let's see what i did pick up since i got her a wow 
item that was a Barbie. I did pick up some Barbie accessories. I think this is the perfect bag to send Barbie in. If you're just sending one Barbie, there's a lot of space here to fill up with a lot of accessories or two Barbies fit perfect in here and you still can slide an outfit or two behind their legs. So I love this bag for Barbie. Very worth, very much worth the $1.25. Then the other Barbie accessories that I got there at regular Dollar Tree price was this bag of purses. I just feel like she needs some fun for her Barbie and I didn't wanna spend the like $5 for accessories that things were at Walmart. I also picked up this really fun lounger. Um, they have other things there for Barbies like this. They had a table with chairs. Um, I selected this one specifically because the um, legs lay flat and the Barbie I got does not bend. So I didn't wanna get her chairs that she couldn't sit in. So I figured this lounger was perfect for the shape of my Barbie. And my hope is that it will fit in here alongside Barbie. So, um, and then the last, let me double check, yes. The last Barbie accessory that I got at Dollar Tree was this. So this is only going to be available if you have a Dollar Tree Plus. One of those ones that now sells like craft items and cleaning products for over $1.25. They go up to, I think, $5. But these here were $3, and that is much cheaper. Like I said, this same pack at Walmart is going to run you about five to $6. So I did pick up a change of clothes for her Barbie for $3. And it's, it's hard to tell, but it's Jurassic Park themed. And I think that's so much fun and so cute. So those were all of the Barbie accessories that I got at Dollar Tree. I did find her a craft, which is fun. It is this macrame rainbow craft kit for $1.25. I think that's a great deal. Um, I will like take it out of the box because once it's out of the box, it's much, much, much smaller because I bought another one for a different box. Um, so. This is it, this and then the paper instructions. So if you take it out of this big bulky box, this is all you've got and it's great. I still will probably cut out an image of what the finished product looks like to include with her craft kit. And then I did get hair accessories at Dollar Tree. So let me show you those. I got her these really fun headbands in case she has cropped hair. And then I got these two bows that will clip onto the headband. Let me see here. Yeah, see it's just a regular clip. And she can either clip it in her hair or she can clip it onto this headband. So if she has cropped hair, she still gets to wear pretty things in her hair. I also got this pack of 18 elastics and it kind of matches the like diluted pastel-y colors. I liked that. I like things to coordinate. <clears throat> and then I did splurge and get her these clippies. You can get a set of like 15 clippies to include, but I wanted to get the butterfly ones for her. So this is kind of expensive, $1.25 for a set of two clips, but I was okay with it. And then, on that same aisle, but not hair related, I picked up two pieces of jewelry for her. Now this is gonna be hard to see because the backing is really busy, but it is just um, a metal costume jewelry. And then if you can see, the charm right there is a butterfly. So I picked this because it's a butterfly. And then I picked these because they were butterfly studs. So even though I didn't mean to, the box is kind of getting a theme. So here are her, is her jewelry. And I picked up this washcloth for her at Dollar Tree. I did check at Walmart and the single one-off um, washcloths there are also $1.25. So if you would prefer to provide her with a regular washcloth, that's an option from Walmart. 
but I like to get these because they're so compact and when you do open them up, they are fun and colorful for kiddos. And I think they're great quality. My family likes thin washcloths anyways, um, and so this would be my option. But if you like the big fluffy ones, those are also available. Um, also at Dollar Tree, some of the things I think that are worth getting are stickers and books. So I picked one of those up each for her there. And I also saw this, which I thought was a really great deal. They were fun, pink. They are um, Susan G. Coleman for the Cure ballpoint pens, but to me they're just pink pens and they do write in black ink. So I picked this up for her. Again, if you're doing two or three boxes, this is a great deal. You can put in two or three pens in each box and you only had to buy it once. And then the last things I picked up was a bar of soap. This is my favorite kind of soap to send because as you can see, they are individually packaged in here and they aren't in boxes, so they don't take up the extra space. And again, if you're doing two or three boxes, you just have to buy this once. And the last thing I got at Dollar Tree was this really cute bag for her. I do like to include larger bags so she has something to help carry all of her goodies home, but this will just have to do for now. It's all I could find the day that I went out and I think it's adorable. So that's everything that I got at Dollar Tree. Barbie stuff, hair accessories, some soap, a craft kit, jewelry, a book, and stickers. So just you just have to be careful at Dollar Tree. Um, some of the stuff is definitely not worth it. And then after Dollar Tree, I went on to Old Navy. Old Navy was a lot of fun. I actually ended up getting a real something at Old Navy. But the main reason that I went to Old Navy and the main reason why every quarter counts is this bouncy ball. This is definitely the best price for a bouncy ball that you can find, especially if you're just doing one. Um, but even if you're buying them on bulk from Amazon, they are more expensive than this. It is a large bouncy ball, it's so much fun, and it's just a quarter. And while I was there, I had to snoop around in the clearance section, and I did end up getting her this adorable dress. Look at this. So cute. It's so cute. It was on clearance. It is a size large, 10, 12, so it definitely will fit her till she is 10 and I love that it has pockets. That's so fun. Every girl loves having pockets. And it was on clearance for $2.50. So total, I paid 270 at the counter and a quarter for this ball at Old Navy. And it was very, Old Navy? Yes. It was very much worth my trip going there. Then I went to Five Below, which I'm very lucky is like right next door to my Old Navy. And like I said, they had so many wow items. If you're just doing one or two boxes, that's where I recommend that you go for your wow items. But I'd already got a wow item. I did pick up this um, fidget spinner. It is smaller than they were last year, but in reality, that's probably better for my box because I'll be able to fit more in and it was just a dollar, so cheaper than Dollar Tree. Here is that infamous uh, pencil case. This is my favorite place to pick up pencil cases, and I should have just listened to my gut at Walmart, but I didn't. So I did pick up this pink and purple one. And then, because when I'm sending Barbies, I always like to send two so she can play Barbies, I went ahead and picked up this Glitzy Girl. Now, they had options similar to this, at Walmart but it was a little bit different proportions and she was a little skinnier and a little shorter and I knew that this glitzy girl if it didn't exist at five below I saw it at my Kroger so um, ultimately it would have been cheaper if I had got her at Kroger but my thought process was that five below is nationwide and more of you will be able to pick her up she was three dollars and 25 cents so another splurge so all in all for my wow item, which I think is the Barbie, the Barbie bag, the Barbie lounger, the Barbie accessories, the Barbie dress, 
and this little glitzy girl. I think I probably spent under $10 total. So if you see a kit or a Barbie set, just keep that in mind because I did end up spending quite a bit, but that is okay because that's what my heart told me needed to go in as a wow item and how I like to send my Barbies. So that is what I got at Five Below. I could have spent a whole lot more. My Five Below does have a clearance section. I checked it out. They had a Mulan shirt there for half off. They had a Frozen shirt there for half off. They had little stuffies there for like $2.50 that came with two stuffies. So check out the clearance section there too. And then, oops, I forgot these. And the last place I ended up going was my Hobby Lobby. And that is where I ended up getting the box I'm going to use. So I saw this box a couple places. They have one very similar at Walmart, but I couldn't find the price for it. They have one at my Kroger and it was $10 at Kroger, which was crazy. I'm sure they also have this same box at Target, but I didn't go to Target. So I opted to get my box from Hobby Lobby. It is a really high quality plastic. It's not the ones from Dollar Tree, those will break. But I ended up spending $2.99. This is great if you're just going to do a few or you don't have access to other boxes. I will say these are not my favorite for one reason only. You see from here to here, for me, that's like a whole inch of wasted space that I could very much fill up. And then here to here. So I've already lost two inches on my box. Plus we get the same thing, another half inch here and another half inch here. So this is a very sturdy, durable box. I'm glad I found it for $3. I will happily fill it all up, but it's just, there's just so much air, so much wasted space. So, pro tip, or not pro tip, Robin's opinions, whatever you wanna call it. But also at Hobby Lobby, I picked up this bandana for 99 cents. It is a bright neon pink. And I had to go by the clearance section and I picked up this fun um, patch for her for 20 cents and these fun gemstone stickers for 75 cents. So that's everything that I bought for the box. Again, the total was $62.66, which is kind of shocking to me. I didn't realize how much I spend per box. Now, I do spend less because I buy stuff in bulk and I spread it out and I collect items from clearance for pennies on the dollar all year long. But if you're just buying a box right now in October and November, um, that's about what you're going to pay to get everything that I think is an essential for the box. So now I'm going to pack it all up and I will show you what it all looks like once I get it in this nice and neat box. Ready? Ta-da! Okay, so I have packed this box. It's very full. Here is a little piece of the Barbie um, packaging that I left in here. I have a few thoughts on this box. But first, let me show you all of the packaging. This whole bag of packaging that I took off, so like the Barbie packaging and the crayons and the glitzy doll and all of the Hot Wheels, all of it, all of this packaging, a whole bag, that I can easily throw away in my trash because we pay for those services. And where these boxes are going, we don't know if they have those services. So I like to take all the packaging off that I can. A, to save this much room, and B, because I know I have the capability to throw it away. There were some things that didn't fit. So, this box, I, I, it is, I understand, it is a good quality box. I like it. Um, I think after she takes all of her items out, she is going to have a really nice um, box to utilize in her space. However, um, missing this inch and this inch 
and then these two half inches really put a damper on my packing. Also, something that I didn't notice until I got into the box and was packing, let me take these lids, this lid off and show you. On the bottom are, is this lip here. Can you see that on the inside of the lid, which pushes down and takes up that much more space? So it was really difficult to get everything in here that I wanted in here and I could not fit this beautiful spiral. Um, it's so thick and it's so wide. I did have to um, switch it out. So this is a little bit of a cheat, but it's good news for you because these composition notebooks are cheaper than that anyway. You can get them typically for around 50 to 70 cents. Um, at Target, I think they're 50 cents all the time, but look how much it's not as wide and it's not as tall and it's definitely not as thick. So this physically didn't fit in the box. Even on its own, I couldn't get it to fold over the right way. Um, so I couldn't fit this in this specific box. This will fit great in an Ikea box um, or even a box like the Michaels photo box. Um, it might fit better in a regular shoe box from your closet, but it did not fit in this plastic box. Um, the other things that I have left over is all of this. So, for example, the scissors. There were two scissors. The crayon, I couldn't get a whole box in there, so I broke them up. I put six in each set, so there are three extra sets of crayons. The pins, I gave her four, so there are six left over. Um, there were two erasers and I only gave her one. There were three soaps and I only put one. And then her Barbie accessories, I couldn't fit the little carrier for them, but I did fit all of the purses. So here is everything that didn't fit in the box. And here is the box. Um, another tip is because it was so full, I couldn't fit Barbie in her carrier. Uh, but I still put it on top because of the way that I packed. And I went ahead and put her little clothes packet in there. Um, let me see. Um, but to keep her protected, I did go ahead and put a snack baggie around her. The only things that I added in here that you did not see previously is Ziploc baggies of varying sizes. Um, I used two rubber bands to rubber band her dress together. And I used one foam sticker to put her earrings in. But you don't have to have a foam sticker. You could use a piece of cardstock or um, a piece of the packaging that it came with. I just wanted to put the foam sticker in there. But everything else that's in here um, came just like you saw. The only packaging that I kept was this. I did keep it in, in its packaging uh, because it packed better. In fact, I had another one that I bought previously that was out of the package and I tried to pack it in here and it just wasn't working. So I used the original one in its packaging. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I did that is a tip for you guys. You've seen all of the stuff so I don't have to do a full unboxing, but here is the soap. I did put it in a little Ziploc baggie. Here is the craft once it was all cut down and put into a baggie. Um, here are all of her hair accessories. And um, here is her pencil bag. So this is how I put it all in there and then I folded it in half to save some space. And that's really all of the tips. Here's her dress all folded down and rubber banded together. Um, and I did stuff the unicorn down in the cup with other items down in it as well. Here is the necklace and the earrings. See, there's the foam sticker. So those are my tips. And that is how I packed this box. Um, buying things all in October and November and not collecting in bulk throughout the year. I hope that this helped you. I hope that you enjoyed going shopping with me. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.